But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. These are the words of Gamaliel in today's reading, where we pick up our narrative from Acts of the Apostles. Gamaliel is a well-esteemed teacher who sits on the Sanhedrin. And later in Acts, we find out that he's actually Paul's teacher. Now, Gamaliel's advice is not only wise, but prophetic. He continues the thought, you may even find yourselves fighting against God. Gamaliel can see that something is at work here, and he advises the leaders not to stand in its way. In fact, in this instance, he actually succeeds in persuading them to release the apostles, after a flogging, of course. Now, as Christians who are striving to do God's work, Gamaliel's wisdom should give us confidence. The gist of his message is this. If this Christian movement is the work of human beings it will disappear on its own. But if God is the one behind it, there's no stopping it. And indeed, God is behind the work of evangelization that we strive to do in the church. Now, if it were all up to us, we would fail miserably. But since God is behind it, the message of the gospel cannot be stopped, and we should have confidence in that. As we've mentioned before, we should always be discerning our actions to make sure we're moving with the Spirit and not against the Spirit. Yet the message of Gamaliel's warning here and his advice to the Sanhedrin is that we should have confidence that no matter what, God's will will be done.